Okay, it looked like it was in focus. I'm gonna hope it was because this isn't one of those videos I can repeat, probably, I'm doing my makeup, so um, if it is bad quality, sorry, I guess. Alright, okay, um, I've got, I've got my coffee with me, I've got my, my meds. I'm guessing this is gonna go up the day I film it, uh, which means I haven't uploaded in two days. Which isn't too bad to be honest, but it means I've already skipped a total of like three days of veg and it's the ninth. Like that's not that's not too good. Um again, it is just a small project of mine. Like I know everyone does veg or video or something, but um yeah, it is just something that I was doing for me, uh, something I'd wanted to do for a while, something I want to do properly. Which I've already fucked up with, but that doesn't mean it has to end up a big fuck up too, you know? Um, it meant that I didn't not upload and then it was because, you know, I, I was too depressed to do anything. Which was the case, but the fact that I had something else to do meant that I did end up doing something. And if I can get up in the morning and at least move and do one thing which I can tick a box on, then that's enough. Um, if veg happens to not be that, that's okay. I'm gonna try, make sure it doesn't happen too often, but... C'est la vie, c'est la vie. Oh, I guess I should talk about how I'm doing, because I feel like it's really going to prevail this month. Like, my mood is just gonna be obvious, and I kind of want to get it out of the way a bit more for me because in total there's about three people that are actually watching this and um, liking it which I'm fine with because it really just means that I feel like I'm talking to three people. Um, yeah, I... I was just going Yeah, I'm not doing very well at all. I, like I said in my cams video, uh, I just finished therapy a month ago or so. And coincidentally, at around the same time, I started Accutane again for the second time. Um, I've mentioned this a lot to friends on YouTube online, but I've never actually properly spoken about it and um, what it is, what it does. Uh, a lot of people know what Accutane is. It's one of the most common um, and one of the strongest medications for acne. One of the main uh, symptoms other than, no side effects, not symptoms, other than your skin just going to the show. Well, not with, not considering the acne, that's actually going fine because that's what it's meant to do, but just like dryness wise, is um, bad mental health, aka depression. Usually more if you have a history of it, which as we well know, this kiddo it clearly does. Um, I took this a couple years ago, I think if you see some of my first videos I had really bad acne and that was because I just started taking it and at first it usually makes it worse before it gets better. But yeah, I took this a while ago and just as I got to the end of my, I had a few months left on the medication, um, I, I'd been really bad for a couple months, it's probably one of the worst depressive episodes I've had in my life I think. I had a really bad one when I was probably about 11 maybe 10 um, and then that was also just the second wave of bad it lasted a few months I, if I recall properly I can't be sure um, and I told my parents again I, like I said in the camps video I'd had a history of this stuff we kind of it was still taboo but and it took me a while to mention it to them but because we had had to talk about it when I started taking the medication because obviously the NHS have to be really careful with that um, Obviously, if you're taking this medication and then you go in complaining about your mental health, the first thing they're going to do is connect it to that, which is for a reason. <laughs> um, there's a, as in, obviously, if this drug is very harmful to your mental health and they're giving it to a teenager, especially, I think I was 13 when I started taking it, so they obviously have to be really careful. Um, yeah, I went to my parents, I said, um, I'm not feeling too well mentally. I should probably tell my dermatologist because they're probably going to want to do something about it in case 
I don't know, for my safety, in case it was the medication and it was taking on me badly. It's really common to have that problem. But yeah, usually um, what they would do if you were complaining was just give you some antidepressants because they work fine on adults, I guess. Um, nobody wants to do that with me or any child usually because it's, I don't know, it was explained to me like at my um, consultations that it's more proven that therapy works better on children than on than medication does, which I believe. Um, I'm not saying medication can't help kids because if anything I think it's one of the things that would help me the most to be honest long term. Um, but what I'm trying to say is that it's not accessible to me. Um, most of the time I feel like again I'm gonna, when I get my next appointment I'm gonna have to bring it up because ten to ten I'm doing terribly again and um, I think that, could, that can be said that it's because of other factors. Um, I could, because I'm having loads of change right now but the way my brain is taking to it feels very I always explain it as it feels very chemical because I don't have any um, worries, if that makes sense. Uh, right, at least the first time I had a bad episode, I uh, I wanted to go off the medication more for safety uh, because I was getting like really suicidal and very... Uh, yeah, that it was just because I was afraid I was going to do something whilst this, I'm not really feeling like that, it's just that I don't like the feeling. Yeah, everything's fine <laughs> and that, again, I'm not saying you can't not be fine and be depressed because that just sounds really ugh. I don't mean it like that, I just, I, um, I just want to be okay. <laughs> And I'm not right now and it's scary because I just finished my therapy, got right out and I'm the worst I've been in and okay, maybe that's not true. I'm not the worst I've been in years, but I'm the worst I've been in this situation, if that makes sense. Um, because usually at least everybody else is doing shit as well because it's sometimes like, you know, exams or school, um, school always made me feel absolutely terrible. Um, and that meant that my logical reasoning was, whoa, I'll get out of school and BAM! Perfect mental health. Boy, was I wrong. Um, it wasn't really like that, but if mm, you're getting asked what's wrong and half of the time you can connect it to something that's happening within the school environment, you'd assume that once you'd get out, it'd be fine. But apparently not. Um, yeah, that's why I'm saying it feels more chemical because I'm fine. My life is fine. Everything's fine. I'm happy in the sense with how everything's going um but not with how my brain's reacting to everything and that's what's scary i'm not saying i'm not allowed to be upset about things but oh, it's just it's shit and i miss how i felt a few months ago i could probably deal with this for a bit but it, like it's upsetting you know when you could be enjoying yourself and i'm still trying to enjoy everything um that i can because i do appreciate life but yeah, I know they're gonna want me to go off it probably if I do tell them that I'm feeling like this, but I can't because last time that happened and I thought my skin would be fine and it got shit and then my brain got shit too because I hate admitting it, but obviously having bad skin um, doesn't help. I'm not saying it's the solution to solving my acne problems, but it definitely does not help. Um, it's not even that, it's just painful. Like people think acne is just like, oh, it's a you know, a West, not a Western thing, it's a cultural thing where like having acne is um, considered ugly because I don't know, it's like technically an infection and stuff. I don't give a shit about that. Does it really look like after 10 years of having acne, I'm really gonna care about superficial looks in that sense? No, it's the fact that it's painful. It's physically painful to have acne. Um, I get the cystic one and by the end of it, my face just feels like somebody has gone and poked me with a thousand little needles and it's bruised and I can just like touch it and I feel it and it's horrible and I just want to get rid of that as quickly as I can because yeah I know I'm only 16 and most people are like mm, the start of your acne no no I've had it for 10 years I deserve a fucking break at this point um yeah I'm rambling now that's not good <laughs> um yeah I'm really not doing too well and I can just see that more from the fact that it's little things in the way that 
I'm a morning person. I love this time of day. It's nearly 12 right now, fucking hell. Um, I prefer, I'm not, I can't work or think in the evening. I usually have, that's like when I'm resting, if that makes sense. Um, I'm a day person. I like, especially now in the summer, it's just like, why would I stay in? Why would I stay in and sleep? <laughs> Depression, apparently. Um, I hate doing that in the summer because I like getting stuff done in the morning than having like some of the afternoon free and then just like resting in the evening. I like my routines. I like how I like to let my body work the way it wants to. Um, that's the thing. I like to let my body work how it wants to. And um, I still wake up early. Wake up at like eight. Um, and I just can't do anything. I can't. Uh... <laughs> I can't, the, the thing is, I can't stay sleeping until like 11 if I want to, but usually I don't let myself because I'm like, no, 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 you, 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 you're a morning person, just wake up when you do, but then don't go back to sleep, or, you know, sometimes I put an alarm on so I don't spend the whole morning sleeping in. I never had to do that, because my brain usually just wakes up at 7, it's a good thing, and then I have to go to bed at like 10 because I'm that person. Um, can't do that now. I woke up at 8 this morning and I spent 3 hours in bed just doing nothing and for that, for some people that might be fine and that just might be a lazy morning, for me that's a clear indication that something wrong and I didn't notice, like the time just went by but in no ideal world would I let myself stay in bed that long without eating, without drinking, without taking my medication on time. I can feel it coming, there comes a point where you've been so depressed for so long that you can, it, you feel it. It's like a storm's coming. I <laughs> um, said that with my friend Cal the other day. We're just like, we can feel the, <laughs> we can feel the depressive episode coming. We can feel the storm coming. Um, for anybody who's been depressed for more than like, as in not just a depressive episode, and it's more like just a part of your life now. You know what I mean when I say that like you can just feel it. It's like an actual cloud that you can imagine on your chest and in your brain, and it's just there all the time. <laughs> And sometimes it's more prevalent than others, but it's just there. And for a while, I thought it was gone, and I think it was just masked. Maybe it was gone, and that's lovely. Um, the problem is it's back, and it's here with a vengeance. And I go through this a lot, where I think that what's happening to me right now is probably the worst I could go through. And it's not, I've been through a lot worse. I'm. Um, I have a lot of suicidal thoughts, but no intentions of doing anything. Uh, therapy did help me to just say fuck off to them, um, which I, I appreciate because it means I don't fear for my safety. I don't think I'm going to do anything to myself, which is great. I think that's real progress, but um, it still feels horrible. Uh, you can feel it. You can literally feel it. That's why it feels more chemical because like, it's not that I've got a worry and that worry is draining me, the worry is how I'm feeling. So it's just a paradox, which means something is up. I think what I'm feeling right now is more fear, more than anything. Um, because I've been depressed for most of my life and it's not the depression that scares me, it's the fact that it might not go away or that there might not be a solution because it's like, imagine you've been doing badly your whole life. I say doing badly, um, that makes it sound like you're doing something. It's not your fault. Um, you felt bad your whole life and it wasn't even bothering you anymore because, I mean it was, but you could live with it because you'd had it for so long that it was just a part of you. It was just something you had to deal with in the same way that some people have to deal with medical problems. It was just that. Uh, and it wasn't nice, but oh look, somebody said, oh, look, you can, I can, I can help you. I was like, heck yeah, I, I could, I mean, I don't mind it that much anymore, but I could use some help. And then it's gone for a bit, or it's gone, full stop, and you realise how absolutely terrible you've been feeling your whole life. Your, your whole life has just been a big lie where you were being told that it wasn't all that bad and it was mainly you telling yourself that that yeah you were depressed but it could be worse and of course it could be worse but it also could have been better and you didn't know that and then you felt it and it's like life changing and you've never been happy, happier and you can feel it you can actually feel the happiness um, 
and then it's gone again. And it's literally like getting a taste of heaven, being told that, look, this, this is it, this is what you've been missing out on. And then getting it taken away from you. And nobody's taken it away. <laughs> um, but it's just that the other thing's back. And you were told that this amazing thing that you were feeling, it could stay. And it was going to stay. And you were going to do so well to stay. And maybe, maybe it might feel like it's gone away for a bit. But it could come back. And it's there. But what if it doesn't come back? <laughs> what if I can't feel it again? Or like in the short term? Because... The minute the, the person helping me feel that, or the, the situation left, or well, the minute something changed, it was back, the cloud was back, the black cloud was back and it was taking over again. And you couldn't feel that good anymore. Um, it's like literally getting a taste of heaven and then take, get, getting it taken away from you. I think that's what's making it worse because I probably, I felt a lot worse in my life, but I've never felt, I've never felt good. Maybe I had when I was younger, but I hadn't felt that period of happiness. Not even, I was like super stressed, but I was happy and I could breathe and like, I didn't have that tension, that mental tension. And that made me so hopeful because I remember, what the hell's gonna happen in these two months when I was already going to be happy? But now I had this other thing where it was like actual um, satisfaction, freedom and not that black cap, not that black cloud, and um, I think I got excited and hopeful, and now it's just fear again because my fear had always been that I could never get better, and then I did, and it was amazing, and I got so hopeful, <laughs> and um, now there's that fear again that I might not get better, um, and I know I can. And I know I will at some stage, but there's just no straightforward solution like it used to be. So I'm hoping there is something. And I don't know what it is at this point because I can't really go back to therapy. And if I do, I mean, sure, but it's clear that I helped while I was in it and not in the long term. And medication doesn't seem to be a thing because I'm a kid and most people get it offered to them when they're 18 and I'm not 18 and I'm not going to be 18 anytime soon. So it's like, what is that left? Um, maybe it'll, it will be okay, but I think sometimes it's just okay to admit that there is a fear there. That you're not going to get better. Or that this is a bigger problem than I realised. I don't want to end this crying for fuck's sake. Ah, this is not what I wanted. See, this is why makeup is my scent time, because... See, at least I don't wear mascara anymore, you know? It's a good time. I can cry. It's good for your skin. It probably isn't, you know, but I've told myself and every friend I've ever had that, ever, like, just that one thing that I think I had once and it could be complete bullshit, but it just means that you're okay crying and then you don't mind. Oh. So yeah, this isn't... I don't know what this is because I'm not asking for pity and I'm not asking for help and I'm not it's I think it's more just of a record um just so I remember how I feel right now or just in case it gets too overwhelming just a small reminder that I have been good before and it was great and I can get there again hopefully um it's just gonna be a bit more hard work than I realised so, yeah, wow, that was intense. Updates on that soon. Um, not really, I just, I think I needed somewhere to just express that I'm not doing okay. And I picked a very bad month to do veg, but you know what? I think every month is gonna be a bad month to do veg because I'm never okay, but now I'm really not okay. Um, just broke my eyebrow pencil. What a sad time. I'm gonna go out now and see my friendy, my good friendy Ella. Um, and my outfit that I've got planned is well fucking cute, so I've got something to be happy about. <laughs> I don't want this to end on a bad note, because even though it was already going to be a very depressing video, um, <laughs> that's not how I'm going to end it, because I'm, right now, at this moment, I'm feeling okay. I think I just really need a place to talk about it a bit. Um, 
yeah, so I hope everything's alright with you guys. Um, now I'm going to sound really annoying saying this, but like, I, I'm already running out of veg ideas, so if you've got anything you think I could talk about or just do, hit me up. Um, <laughs> it's a very boring time. Yeah, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow for hopefully that Pride video. If not, hopefully something not as depressing as this, because we need a bit of balance on this channel. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'll see you soon.